Day 16, fact 16. The year is close to the 1900s. The Tsar of Russia and his wife are worried because their child is sick and he's always bleeding, so uh, he seems to be on his way to death. The doctors are not able to do anything. Then there comes a mystic called Rasputin. You may have heard the song, yes, the same guy. He comes in, stops the medicine given by the doctors and uh, does some magic things and the son miraculously survives. He becomes well. Now, what happened there? This is related to medicines, allopathy and what is the other one? What is it called? Okay, something like uh, herbology? Anything other than the scientific uh, medicines that we talk about. So, what happened to us, um, the boy had um, a condition where he was bleeding a lot. And the doctors were giving him aspirin. And aspirin is uh, an anticoagulant and he was bleeding more. What Rasputin did was he did not believe in medicine, so he stopped it and the boy became well. Aspirin is a chemical. I mean, obviously, every everything is chemical. Even you and I are chemicals, right? We are made of chemicals. But aspirin is synthetically made. But as aspirin was first found a few centuries earlier in the bark of a tree. When people used to feel sick and have headaches and all that, uh, they used to eat those bark and they would become well. And people later on um, distilled, so what caused it, I think it's called salicylic acid, and they extracted it and started making aspirins. Okay? So from a natural remedy, they uh, took, concentrated it and made aspirins. So the today's fact is about how uh, this natural remedies Herbologies, I'm, I'm mistaking the term, but I am not able to remember it right now. As you know, I do it ex tempo. I think of a fact and I just do it. Um, so, uh, all the things that you read in Facebook and WhatsApp forwards about um, this, uh, you take this um, vegetables, especially garlic. Garlic is very famous for doing that. Garlic has these chemicals. It is uh, anti-cancer anti things and you have gloves you have many others even turmeric you do this it has this benefit um, there are lots of forwarded messages which are kind of true okay every vegetable you get in the market has some chemicals in it I mean ha has some nutrients in it some have calcium some has potassium those things but at the end of the day it will not cure you it will help you uh, maintain the nutrient levels in your body not so much by a certain amount it will help you just like um, example you uh, eating fresh vegetables uh, will provide you with vitamin C and you will not get scurvy which was found out by sailors back in the day uh, when they went out to ship voyages which took a long time and they had scurvy because they did not get vitamin C from uh, fishes and uh, uh, dried fruits because they didn't have vitamin C so such kind uh, is a f uh, I mean it causes problems if you don't have some nutrients but those will not cure diseases that's what I'm saying and if you want a proof I, I can challenge you to one thing find a vegetable or anything natural that you just get from it that you can just pluck it out for headaches Headache is the most common form of illness that everybody endures every other day. Okay, find me one herb or one fruit, uh, one extract that will cure headache for you. And if you can't find if you can't find something that will cure headache, you forget about it curing cancer and any other things. Uh, so stop uh, spreading fake news and say what it is. It will help you. Um, regain nutrients but it will never help you cure anything at all that's the fact for today bye